Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well in our last video we just explored the contact form and created a simple contact form and demonstrated some of the features. This is a follow up from that and we're not going to create this form again so if you want to learn how to create the actual form have a look at that video it'll be in the playlist below this video here. And today we're going to discuss conditional logic. Now conditional logic is when you have a form and you say well if they click this option I want something to happen if they click that I want a different field to pop up for instance I've done one here do you like red well if you click on yes nothing's gonna happen if you click on no it's gonna say well why don't you like red and this little box will pop up and you can explain why you don't want red if you're not sure a different little box will pop up and it'll say well what color do you like now that's a very simple version of it and you can take it deeper and deeper you can have another one if they click on this and answer this it can take them to another one so you can you can tailor specific sets of questions and specific things for specific visitors so let's get started first thing I'm going to do is enable the visual builder and like I say I'm not going to recreate the form I'm just going to use the one we've got here I'll use this one on the right today let's go in there and for this demo today I'm going to use the radio boxes we've already got and I'm just going to change it to what we've got here so if I go down to our radio boxes there they are we'll go in there Let's change the text to do you like red and we'll make that the field title as well it's important to put the title in you'll find out in a minute because you have to select this from your conditional logic when you create the field you want to pop up so we change that to do you like red let's go to our options option one I'm going to have them answer yes two is going to be no three can be maybe or not sure or whatever you want it to be this is just a simple example and I guess we have an exclamation after these okay so we've got a question with three possible answers there yes no not sure great well let's now create a new box and let's say yes we don't want anything to happen if they click no we're going to ask them why so let's add a new field we'll make it a text area text area I'm not going to make it required because if they don't click on this one and it's required then it'll throw up an error so I want to take the required away from there right it's going to be a text area and we're going to say we're going to call it why don't you like red and we'll put that also for the title great now we don't need anything else we've got everything else we need there so let's save this and as you can see that little box has popped up there I want to put it directly below the question there so we're in our contact form right now we're on the content tab I'm going to move that up to just under do you like red there okay and let's create another one now for if they select not sure so let's add a new one and you can add radio buttons check boxes and you can have that if they check this if they check that and it can cascade down if you're going to get plump complex you might want to map this out on a piece of paper first okay so at the top you're going to say what color do you like and this is only going to pop up remember when they select not sure and what sort of field do we want to make it 
Well, they can only put in a certain amount of characters, so let's make it a an input field. Maximum length, let's say 15 characters. Can't think of a color more than 15, I'm sure somebody will. Uh, oops, we'll have minimum length of zero, maximum length of 15. Like I say, there's probably a color with more than 15 letters, but I can't think of it. We don't want to allow any symbols, so we're going to say letter only, because you're just going to type in a color. And again, we're not going to make it a required field, because if they select yes or no and don't fill this out, it'll throw up an error. So that's not going to work. So that's it. We've pretty much done what we want here. So let's save this and save that. Save our changes. And I can see that I should have put that what color do you like up here as well. So let's quickly do that. So we'll go back in here. And I simply want to drag this up above the message there. And we're good to go. Okay, now we've added our fields. Let's go into our fields and apply the conditional logic. Why don't you like red? We'll go in there. We'll go down to conditional logic. We'll hit the enable button. And we will we'll say, this one, we only want it to pop up if they say, no, I don't like red. So we'll say, do you like red is the title of the radio buttons there and if it equals no then this will pop up you can make it greater than smaller than contains etc etc and if you want to have more than one you can just add another one and you can say well we want it to pop up if it's not sure so we'll say do you like red again and we can have it pop up when they say not sure so if they click either of those it'll pop up now if you have the relation of any and you change it to all then it'll need both of those to be checked before it pops up but I only want the one option there so we can trash the second one so I just want it to pop up when they say no which is great now let's go into our next box which is what color do you like and we only want that to pop up if they say not sure so let's hit the little cog go down a conditional logic enable and we'll say and we only want this one to pop up when they select not sure so we're on do not do not like red not sure then this will pop up here. So let's save that and we're good to go. Like I say, you can continue on to your heart's content and go deeper and deeper. But that's going to do for this simple demonstration. So let's save our changes and exit the Visual Builder. And go down. And as you can see, you can't see any of those fields. The reason you can't see them is because they're not going to appear. We haven't met any of the conditions that we set for them to appear. So do you like red? Yes, nothing's going to happen. We didn't say anything for that. Do you like red? No. Why don't you like red? That little text box, box has popped up and you can just fill it out. If they say not sure, what, what color do you like? And they can fill that out with whatever they want to put in there. So that's a brief overview of conditional logic. I hope that made sense to you. It's pretty simple. Like I say, if you want to get complex, you might want to map it out on a piece of paper first. So I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please ring the bell, give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignDetectives.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.